The sand mandala is a Tibetan Buddhist tradition wherein monks arrange beautiful patterns of colored sand over the course of weeks. What does this have to do with your ServiceNow PDI? Impermanence. It's important that you treat your ServiceNow PDI with a sense of impermanence for three reasons. First, your instance is temporally impermanent. If you leave your instance for a long enough time, ServiceNow reclaims it. This reclamation is absolute and cannot be undone. So if you aren't pouring consistent attention into your PDI, it is impermanent. Second, the PDI is a piece of technology, which means it is imperfect, which means it is impermanent. See this email I recently received saying that there's something wrong with my instance and it must be reclaimed by January. When they use the word release, that's actually a gentle word for being reclaimed and being destroyed. Everything I need from that instance must be taken off if I want to keep it. Third, it's ideologically impermanent. As a coach of ServiceNow beginners, one thing I say over and over again is build to learn. If it turns out it's built incorrectly, simply start over. Release the instance and get a new one, or delete the scoped app that you were trying to build. The beautiful thing about a PDI is that it can be released and made new. Now that you know that your instance is impermanent, how do you hedge against the potential harm of the instance going away when you're not expecting? The answer to this is to learn about update sets, scoped apps, and code repositories as fast as possible. Now, I'm not an expert on repos, but I will give you two ways that you can build on your PDIs and make sure you can retrieve that information before your instance goes away. First of all, if you're learning within the global scope, make sure that what you're building is placed inside of an update set. When an update set is moved to complete, there is an option to export it to XML, and that's the storage of all the configurations under that update set. This can be moved to a new PDI whenever you like. Second, if you're trying to build an app, contain that app within a scope. This happens automatically for you when you're using AES. Each scoped app has the ability to be exported to an update set. You can even include demo data. Now that it's in an update set, you can export that to XML as we just saw. ServiceNow PDIs are an incredible blessing for us. I remember the days when all of us in the ServiceNow community had to compete for one or two demo instances that were the only instances on earth outside your own organization that you could practice on. There is no substitute for the PDI. Be thankful for the blessing, but hedge your bets and be prepared for their impermanence. Hope you got some wisdom there and I will see you on the next one. My name is Robert the Duke Fedoric. I provide freelance ServiceNow architecture and advisory services, but I also do private ServiceNow coaching and recruiting. If you need a consigliere with this level of passion and understanding, reach out to the email pictured here. Thanks for watching.